been a different year. It gave us an opportunity to be history makers. We had a very normal start to the year, and we all anticipated normalcy. But COVID-19 had different plans. The upper sixes were ready to celebrate their last year in high school, to play your last first team matches, to meet with your friends, to travel on tour, but the year was not meant to be like that. But it turned out to be one of the best years for growth. So what can we say about 2020? 2020 was an opportunity to find that in us which makes us adaptable. It's been a very different year. It has been a very challenging year. But as Father Mutado alluded to later on, it gave us an opportunity to run and not be weary, to mount with wings like eagles, to walk and not faint. But what it did for most of us, especially the upper sixes, was to rob us of an opportunity to be celebrated by our peers, for our parents to cheer for us. And today I would like to say, nothing can take that away from you. To Arundel girls, you have been amazing, you have been wonderful. You have shown the world that excellence is in you. And today we celebrate that. To our own parents, we thank you. You have shown the world that you are a bad one. That when everything else falls, you are there for us. We thank you for turning yourself into teachers. We thank you for turning yourself into study partners. To our teachers, you showed everyone why you are the bad one of our own. You had to acquire new skills sometimes within a space of 24 hours. Marking was now online. Teaching was now online. Exam and vigilation was online. But you showed everyone why Arundel is the best institution in terms of adaptability. And we thank you. To our board of directors, we thank you for being there for us this year. And for always being on the ground, we thank you. Father Mutadwa, I would like to thank you as our spiritual leader. You have led us into the week every Monday, and you have ended the week for us every Friday. But one thing that we can't take away or we can't deny about COVID is, we could not come together. We could not have festivals. We could not play festive matches. We could not celebrate each other as we wanted. But in typical, resilient, and adaptable fashion, we would not let COVID-19 take that away from us. We're going to celebrate each other in a different way, acknowledging that we still manage to achieve. So please can you all watch and celebrate with us the achievers of 2020. Thank you. We wish you all a very good festive season and we hope to see you next year. And no matter what next year brings, we'll be here and excelling. Dear friends, I greet you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God and Father, worthy of all worship, your Son sat among scholars, asking them questions. Bless all schools, colleges, and universities, especially this our school, Arendelle School that we may be a lively center for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom, and to grant that those who teach and those who learn in this place may praise you as the source of all truth. We ask for all this through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, beginning to read from verse 27. Isaiah chapter 40, beginning to read from verse 27. Jacob, why do you complain? And you, Israel, why do you say, My Lord is hidden from the Lord, my cause goes unheeded by my God. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord, the eternal God, creator of earth's farthest bounds, does not weary, 
or grow faint. His understanding cannot be far thought. He gives vigor to the weary, new strength to the exhausted. Young men may grow weary and faint, even the fittest may stumble and fall. But those who look to the Lord who will win new strength. They will soar as on eagle's wings. They will run and not feel faint. Much on and not grow weary. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I would like to share with you very few words coming from this passage that I've just read. Isaiah chapter 40, reading from verse 27. And my message to you is never give up. Never give up. When the year 2020 started, we all had hopes, dreams, and aspirations. But when we look at where we are today, most of us have come to the point of giving up. But my message to you is never give up. In the passage, the text from Isaiah chapter 40, Isaiah is telling the people who were being tormented, left, right and centre in exile, and were now losing their hope and faith in God in those days. It was believed that if one is defeated or captured by the opponent, it means that your God is powerless. So the people of Judah who were in exile were beginning to doubt the power of God, and some were beginning to cherish Madhu, the God of their oppressors. It is very common that when people are encountering problems, they question the power of their God, and in most cases, they lose their faith in God. It is against this background that Isaiah is coming with above prophecy to those who are in exile and were now losing their hope in God. But those who hope in the Lord shall receive, shall renew their strength. They shall mount with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Waiting time is not wasted time. Regardless of how long you have waited, how long you have been tortured spiritually, among others, don't be tempted to quit, give up, or lose hope in God. Even when others around you advance and pass you in terms of marriage, childbearing, promotion at work, education, buying cars, stands among other things, never give up. Continue to hope in the Lord, and something good and better will come your way. Even if the situation around you appears to be desperate, unproductive, barren among others, never lose hope. Even if you are being tormented from all angles by your enemies, never give up. Continue to hope in the Lord. God is working things out, aligning events strategically, placing people around you to bring the best possible outcome for your life. Life has put your health, marriage, business, career, children, among others, in exile. And you are being tormented day and night, and you are about to quit. Whatever it is that you have been waiting for, believe that that they wait upon the Lord who will never give up, but they shall renew their strength instead of surrendering, quitting, fainting. They shall mount up with wings like eagles and fly high above every challenge, and they shall run and not be weary. So, never give up. In that valley of the shadow of death you are walking, Never give up. In the lion's den, in the blazing fence, continue to hope in the Lord, and you will fly above all the life-threatening situations. Are you about to give up? Your education, your job, your career, your marriage, your relationship, your position, your project, among others, because of the tough and painful experiences you are facing. Never give up. 
never surrender, but continue to hope in Christ, and you receive the power and strength to fight to the finish. Remember Jesus' words in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. I will be with you to the end. Hope in the Lord, and you realize that quitting is not an option. Never lose hope and never give up. Hope in the Lord and you renew your strength. May God bless you all and continue to give you the strength that we both need at a time like this. Amen. Let us pray. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all from this day and forever. Amen. Our first set of awards are presented to our top achievers in each form based on their mid-year examination results across the board. Academic Colours of 2020. Idem Lousy is congratulated for maintaining a high academic standard. She already holds academic colours for her achievements in her IGCSE year. At the IGCSE level, academic colours are awarded to girls who achieve seven A stars or A grades, of which five must be A stars. This year, colours were awarded to Notando Chingoza with 10 A stars. Ruarashi Nyabando with 8 A stars, and with 7 A stars each, we had Mutsawashi Kapazira, Vimbai Mupanga, Makanaka Nyanduru, and Katie Veva. Boasting 6 A stars, we had Tinovimba Mudala, and Tanya Radzwa Janje, and with 5 A stars each, we had Nomako Sindebele. Kudzai Nyambiri and Tawonga Shoko. And we present the Capital Cup to a student in lower six who achieved the best IGCSE results of 2019. This year, it is awarded to Notando Chingoza, who achieved an A star in each of her 10 subjects. We now move on to our upper six subject prizes, nominated by subject teachers to students who have shown a passionate approach and consistency in their nominated subjects. We start off with the Christine Marshall Cup for the best AS English language student in the 2019 public examinations, Savannah Hendricks. The Wamala Trophy for AS Thinking Skills 2019, Amani Kalpi. The Art Book Prize is awarded to Michelle Apollo and Savannah Hendricks. We award the Atkinson Trophy for Proficiency in a Foreign Language to Tanatswa Hamadziripi. The Bursas Cup for Accounting goes to Munashe Chingombe. The English Literature Book Prize is awarded to Savannah Hendricks and Rutendo Hoto. The English Language Book Prize to Tanatswa Hamadziripi. The French Book Prize goes to Rutendo Hoto. The History Book Prize goes to Marcelin Tagiré. 
The Geography Book Prize this year goes to Tamiri Ramberi. The Mathematics Book Prize goes to Aida Mlauzi. The Landman Trophy, awarded to a student who shows a passionate appreciation for mathematics, is awarded to Tatenda Chijarira. And the Grinley Trophy for Consistency in Mathematics goes to Gatendwe Ndachena. We award the Chemistry Book Prize to Aida Mlauzi and Tatenda Chijarira. And the Physics Book Prize is awarded to Aida Mlauzi and Gatendwe Ndachena. The Biology Book Prize is awarded to Stembile Chikore. And the Monique Levy Trophy for the top biology student is awarded to Tamirira Beri. We take this moment to acknowledge Tanatswa Chikonzo, Margaret Mano, and Tindai Rutsate for achieving the best A level results of 2019. And now we move on to our school prizes. These range across different annual activities that run within the school. For the best competitive house for 2020 in sport, academic and cultural activities, we have a tie between Austin and Bernie. The Taylor Freem Trophy, awarded to a Form 3 or 4 student who is always supportive of the school. This year it is awarded to a diligent student who participates wholeheartedly in all she does and is always encouraging and supportive of her peers so that they too can aim to be the best that they can be. She is someone who wants the best out of her Arundel school experience and makes a conscious effort to always play her part. There are some things that cannot be quantified about her. She is just a gem. We present the Taylor Freem Trophy to Catherine Couture. The Gratia et Scientia Cup, which was donated by Miss Jill Day, an Arundel old girl and former board member. It is presented to a girl who displays both grace and learning at a junior level. This year's winners are Tanya Razo Chamboko and Suhani Ramchandani, who are fully committed to school life. They are both described as poised and endeavouring. The Fisher Cup for Drama is awarded to a young lady who has been a committed member of the Drama Club for six years and has been in several of the school productions playing leading roles. She has participated in the National Institute of Allied Arts since she joined the Drama Club and continues to excel in her performances each year. She has also been a great pillar of strength during this year which has had many unforeseen turns for us all. She religiously attended both the weekly scheduled drama club sessions and assisted in running the junior club sessions even during the virtual meetings. The Speech and Drama Festival was another project in the department where her help and voice did not go unnoticed. She spent many hours stitching together videos on Microsoft Teams for the girls who were entering the festival, learning new skills along the way to assist where she was needed the most. She provided all these services to the drama department out of passion, and a great desire to see the club that she has loved and cherished for many years continue to flourish. She deserves this cup for her commitment, participation, and loyalty to the drama club, its members, and the school. The Fisher Cup this year is awarded to Ida Mlauzi. The Library Shield is awarded to Nyasha Dovu. Nyasha has worked consistently, cheerfully, and tirelessly in the library. She did not only show commitment, but always exuded a contagious passion for books and service to the library. Taking initiative and responsibility in her stride, Nyasha could always be relied upon and displayed an impressive work ethic as she held the position of head librarian this year. The Musicians Award, presented for all-round contribution to music, this year goes to Tapua Kabaira. Tapua has served as both Arundel's orchestra and big band captain this year. She's recognized as one of the best euphonium players in the country. A singer with exceptional theoretical musical knowledge, Tapua is a well-rounded, outstanding musician. The Tendai Nyakabau Trophy for piano is this year presented to Chiedza Mandivei. She is a grade 6 piano candidate who often plays in chapel and can always be relied upon to step in when the music department requires it of her. She has represented Arundel many times in National Institute Allied Arts performances and is truly a talented young pianist. The Choir Prize is this year awarded to Amanda Nyimba. 
Amanda has served as our Chapel Choir's head chorister this year. She has been instrumental both on the performance front and in the leadership of various musical groups on campus. She has been a delight to work with and will be sorely missed. Special mention is made of the senior choir who this year received an honours grade for their performance of Sabella at the Vocal and Instrumental I. Stedford hosted by the National Institute of Allied Arts, Zimbabwe. The Richards Trophy, awarded to a student for a major contribution to the boarding side of the school, is this year awarded to Anotidaishe Mteve. Anotidaishe held office as deputy head girl for boarding and in this role could always be counted on to assist staff members in ensuring that the boarding girls adhered to stipulated rules, schedules and expected behavior. She coordinated student roles at mealtimes and student gatherings and ensured that the girls engaged and interacted well together within the boarding community. This year we have two sportswomen of the year. Both ladies represented the school in three first teams as well as representing both their province and their country. The first sportswoman represented the school in athletics, hockey and tennis and captained both hockey and tennis this year. In athletics, she was an integral part of the team for six years. As a junior, she was a track athlete and then once she learned the discus, this became her new passion and it was here she had her most success. In 2020, she was selected for the Harare Province Under-20 team for discus, was awarded full school colors, and went on to break the Under-20 discus record at the Arundel Invitation Athletics Competition. She played indoor hockey for four years. She played field hockey at a high level for the first team for three years and represented Harare Province for three years and then went on to, to be selected for Zimbabwe under 16A for two years and Zimbabwe under 18A in 2019. In 2018, she was selected for the Zimbabwe under 18 Youth Olympic Games squad. This year, she has been selected for the Zimbabwe under 21 ladies squad for the World Cup qualifiers. She has full school colors for hockey. She also played tennis for six years, playing for the junior A teams and, and then the first team for three years. She was selected for the Harare province under 16B in 2017 and went on to be selected as Zimbabwe non-traveling reserve. Our second sportswoman represented the school at athletics, soccer and volleyball and was soccer and volleyball captain this year. She played soccer since Form 1 and was the junior captain in 2017. With the team, she took part in the prestigious 10 Toes tournament at HIS a few, for a few years and scored the winning goal in 2019 that enabled Arundel to win the league. In athletics, she has been a huge part of the team, being one of the top jumpers the school has ever seen. At this year's inter-house competition, she broke her own triple jump record, set last year by 30 centimeters. In the Arundel Invitational competition, she broke two records this year, one being her own triple jump record by 60 centimeters, a phenomenal achievement. This makes her personal best 11.28 meters. The other was the high jump record, in addition, she holds the under 17 and 20 high jump record and triple jump records for the Chisipiti meet and the Lomaganti Inter Schools triple jump record. She has made the provincial athletics team for high jump for the past three years and last year was awarded a silver medal at the national trials. She also improved so much in her triple jump over the last two years and has made the district athletics team for triple jump for two years. This year, she also made the district team for long jump. She has full school colors for athletics. In volleyball, she was selected for the ATS Zimbabwe team in 2018, 19 and 20. In 2018, 
she was awarded the Best Blocker and Most Valuable Player awards at the ATS tournament. In 2020, she was chosen as the Best Attacker at the ATS tournament. She has full school colors for volleyball. Our two Sportswomen of the Year are Stembile Chikore and Tino Tenda Chitate. Laura Jane Dereza is awarded the Howard Cup for Information Technology. She worked consistently in computers. Her level of participation was outstanding and she was always ready to help her peers in class. She excelled in both practical and theory work. Laura Jane produced an outstanding piece of work using Illustrator showing the school administration front office building a clear sign that she does not restrict herself to the minimum requirements of the syllabus, but is always willing to push herself to achieve more than the bare minimum. She also produced an exceptional presentation on wireless networks where she graphically articulated the various wireless technologies, exhibiting her ability to carry out research and use various media to present facts. The Cesar Mechian Trophy was donated by a former head girl, Cesar Mechian, and it is awarded to a student who, as an all-rounder, has made the best use of all that Arundel has to offer. The recipient of this trophy has participated with enthusiasm in many spheres of school life and carried the Arundel flag high. Her zeal and energy for school life is infectious and she has been exemplary in upholding the school ethos and values. This year, the trophy goes to Ida Lousy. The Mkandla Trophy is awarded to a prefect holding both academic and cultural colors, and this year the trophy goes to Aida Lauzi. We now take a moment to honor our three lead students who have held office as deputy head girls and the head girl of 2020. These three ladies have led with grace and unwavering commitment, and together with their prefect team, led the school well during their tenure and especially during the Easter term as the student body settled in for what was to be an eventful year. Congratulations to our Deputy Head Girls, Anotida Ishemuteve and Savannah Hendricks, and to the Head Girl, Ida Mlauzi. The Philippa Wheeler Trophy is awarded to a student who achieves IGCSE results that far exceed their predictions. This year the trophy is awarded to Chantal Dubé. Sports colors for athletics are awarded to Blessing Muchatibaya, Stembile Chikore, and Michelle Apollo. And for volleyball, Rubimbo Zimbizi, Fadzai Shadaya, Hazel Kaseke, and Esther Tliwayo. Club and cultural colors are awarded for Marimba to Washe Mozi, and for music to Nyasha Dobu, Rutendo Hoto, Tapua Kabaira, Lindy Wendlovu, and Amanda Nyemba. From the drama department, half colors are awarded to Kara Kruger, Abigail Masawi, Katie Veva, Michelle Apollo, and Nicole Murambiza. The Royal Cup for Academic Achievement, based on a combination of internal examination points and academic credits, is awarded to Bernie House. Throughout the year, we have had students recognized and awarded team awards for participation in extracurricular club events, both internally and externally. and I was a core games captain for Arundel School in the year 2020. It is now a well-known fact that this year was full of surprises, 
but we surely did the best we could when it came to armed risk sporting activities. We kicked off the year with numerous cross-country events and for the very first time had a compulsory support for the annual Arundel Invitation cross-country. This year, the natural love for support amongst the Arundel ladies was absolutely commendable and we hope that the ladies keep their spirits up over the years. Soon after a very worthwhile cross-country season, the athletes returned for their athletic season and trained very hard, especially for the PE sprints, which they did exceptionally well in. This year, Arundel also hosted a swimming gala at Les Brown, and once again, the Arundel ladies showed their support by cheering on the girls throughout their races. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, some girls did not get to take part in their respective sports during the winter term, but the online sessions held by the coaches definitely helped the girls. During second term, Arundel's athletes would have been able to look forward to hockey, basketball, and soccer. These sports matches would have featured, and there were many supports in store with the ultimate event being Golden Girls. July would have brought excitement and hope for Arundel's performance in this widely anticipated annual event. Although the cancellation of sport events was disappointing, we commend the hockey and basketball teams for their performance first turn and hope that next year, along with the soccer team, they will be able to display their talents. Besides team sport events, Interhouse soccer and hockey would have also been a highlight. To top off the year, third term would have brought the tennis and swimming seasons, as well as the Interhouse swimming gala and obstacle course. In first term, the tennis and swimming team showed promise and hopes were high for third term. Although the sporting year was compromised by COVID-19, we commend all the teams on their performance and the Arundel ladies' sustained efforts in online sports sessions. 2020 was a cultural shock for many of us, as we were practically thrown out of our comfort zones. However, as Malcolm Bradbury stated, culture is a way of coping with the world by defining it in detail. With all the uncertainty and chaos we experienced, the culture at Arundel was elevated to a set of beliefs, primarily Ubuntu, meaning I am because we are. And the best part is that we were able to learn that strength lies in differences and not in similarities, as we all got accustomed to the digital world as a way of showcasing our talents. Firstly, we would like to thank the various clubs for their tremendous efforts. Your dedication and enthusiasm did not go unnoticed. In the first term, we managed to take part in the Eisteddfod season and the ladies had a platform to showcase their musical talents. Six upper sixes represented the school and the Falcon Cultural Weekend where they each attended a different workshop and learned that the beauty of the world lies in the diversity of its people. The drama ladies had a chance to participate in the virtual drama festival where they all did exceedingly well. Maya Angelou once said, in diversity, there is beauty and there is strength. Although we were apart, we had the chance to explore different cultures, to experience them through the eyes of our imagination, through the pages of various books, and through the lenses of cameras, old and new. We saw different cultures coming together to honor those who had to crawl so others could walk. Although we all do not speak the same language, we cried and laughed in a universal one. We saw a plethora of new and creative ways to be together, although we were also far apart. There were online live concerts and virtual meetings, with the highlights being hosting debates and guest speakers. Being alone took many of us on a journey of self-discovery. It was an opportunity to explore the well of knowledge from the comfort of our homes. It gave us hope and broadened the scope of our minds. Although being apart is difficult, we should all celebrate how far we have come as a community. Everyone is commended for their hard work and achievements. We look forward to the amazing symphonies that will be formed from every individual's melody. We look forward to the new skills that have been practiced and heard. We look forward to the enrichment of our minds and souls because in diversity, there is beauty and there is strength. I am because, because we are. On behalf of the Chapel Choir, we would like to thank the music department and all the efforts they put into making this an enjoyable year, despite the sudden changes induced by COVID-19. With the hectic start of the year, the young ladies learned the following songs. I am not yours, composed by Randall Stream, and the Coronation Mass. Warrior, composed by Mozart, for its to the best of their abilities. 
Unfortunately, we did not get to perform these masterpieces. However, we are forever grateful that we got the opportunity to learn them. Next year, with the hopes of the full National Institute of Allied Arts Festival taking place, we know that the Chapel Choir will rise to the occasion and represent Africa extremely well. To the music director, Mr. Kazaku, we truly appreciated his patience, hard work, and enthusiasm towards the choir and the entire music department. His dedication was a true reflection of how music in Ireland is slowly but surely reaching its full potential. We would also like to thank Ms. Chukuma and previous junior mistress, Ms. Nakubara, for the help throughout the year. We were honored to have led various chapel services, such as choral humorous on the fourth Sunday of each month and the memorial of our beloved French teacher, Mrs. Blair. We truly hope that the standard set by the chapel choir over the years is upheld and maintained by the future young ladies and the music department. And now, the voice is prayer. Bless the Lord, as thy servants, who minister in thy temple. For on that what we say with our lips, we may believe in our hearts, and what we believe in our hearts, we may show forth in our lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, boarding is defined as a school which provides accommodation and meals for the students during term time. This definition is an underestimation of what animal boarding truly is. Having spent three quarters of my year at school, with the exception of this year, animal boarding became home. A modern dictionary defines home as the abiding place of affection. The Latin root word for home, dona, just so happens to be the same word we use for human being, person, and people. At its very core, home is where not just your heart is, it is found in the hearts of those you love and trust. During my six years at home away from home, I had mothers who always made sure I was catered for, sisters who put a smile on my face, encouraged me, and looked up to me while I looked up to them. I went from being a little sister to a big sister, and in every stage throughout this journey, I never felt like I was a stranger in this community, my community. I want to thank Arundel Boarding for not only giving us good food, especially dessert, but creating an environment where we had fun and through fun I have made memories which I shall hold on to forever. Things like Tuesday Chapel, Movie Nights, Capture the Flag, Saturday Spent at the Pool, Christmas Dinner and Form 1 Initiation into Boarding shall always be close to my heart. To all the people who, to all the people who have been my seniors, Thank you for being role models. To the lower sixes, it's your time to shine. Make boarding as fun as possible because in fun, you make memories. Be role models to the incoming form ones and remember to take care of your little sisters. To the form fours, you're finally close to having the tie, but having the tie comes with a lot of responsibilities. So brace yourself because juniors will challenge you the way you did to us but in everything, remember to be fair. Form threes, your first exam season is coming up. Remember to focus. I know you love your fans, so make sure you have a good balance. My form twos, I remember each and every one of you. I love you so much and thank you for being the most annoying, energetic, and loving people. To the form ones, although we spent very little time together, you shall also be remembered. My advice to you is to spend less time complaining and more time making memories. Class of 2020, we came, we were challenged, we cried, we complained, but at the end, we have conquered courageously. I have always seen Arundel ladies as stars for a number of reasons, apart from the fact that they shine. One. On a good night, you can see a star that's 19.000000000000 miles away. That's 19 quadrillion miles away. Form 1. You walk into these gates, stiff-brimmed hats sitting squarely on your head, head still sore from freshly done cornrows, 
skirt almost touching the floor because it's supposed to last you until upper six. Your small body drowning in a blazer that's many sizes too large. Confusion written all over your face as you search for room 13. You can spot a form one from miles away. Two, the brightest star in our night sky is called Sirius. Form twos, well, they just aren't serious. And that's okay, because form two is a year when you're kind of a senior, but not really. Still a junior, but no longer the dirt underneath the gum, underneath the shoe, in the desert. It's a time when you come to school to have fun and see your friends and maybe learn on the side. Three, every star you see in the night sky is brighter and bigger than our sun. When I think bright, I think form three. You're not really a junior or a senior, sufficiently in the middle to not really be noticed. And so you are rebellious. This is a time when most people get in trouble, but it's also a time when you have the most fun. Form three is exemplified by liveliness and radiance. You plan the form three entertainment and you look forward to the form four dance. In essence, form three is a vibe. Four, stars are black bodies. A black body is an object that absorbs 100% of all electromagnetic radiation that falls on it. Form four is interesting because you want to play, but you also now have a candidate number. So you do it all. You get down on the dance floor at the form four dance or dances. You sleep and relax during the holiday. Then it really hits you that exams are real. So like that star, you open your books and absorb. Five. You might not realize this, but stars are in constant conflict with themselves. The collective gravity of all the mass of a star is pulling it inwards. If there was nothing to stop it, the star would just continue collapsing until it became the smallest size possible. But there's a pressure pushing back against this. Light. Lower six. You finally have that tie. You can jump to the front of a line or spend your free sleeping on beanbags in the studio but you're also thrown into the world of A-levels and assume knowledge. It's a big jump. And amidst all this pressure, you feel like you could collapse. But like that star, you push through and somehow you make it through the year. Six, most stars travel the galaxy in companions or clusters. I read this and I envisioned a group of Arundel ladies huddled together at an event with another school, debating amongst themselves whether or not they should socialize. I envision the circle that forms around a person's desk whilst we're waiting for a teacher to come to the class. I envision groups of students copying, sorry, I mean helping each other with homework during form time in the mornings. I envision deep conversations in Kafui gardens and break time spent discussing answers to exams. I read Companion and I envisioned Arundel, a name which has morphed to mean so much more than just gratia eschientia. But I will have your back when a teacher asks where you are I will help you out when you don't understand. I will hide in the library with you when you don't have a hat at break time. I am your sister and I will be your keeper. Now, I could tell you more facts, but the one that fascinates me the most is that when you are looking at a star, you are seeing how it looked in the past. For example, the sun appears the way that it was 8.5 minutes ago. Looking at stars is looking back in time. Class of 2020, when I look at you, I see not only the stars you are today, but the stars you were yesterday. I see you singing the Sadza song outside the Form 1 block. I see you writing notes in music lessons. I see you dancing in fake snow at the Form 4 dance. I see you falling in the dam after your canoe collapsed at camp. I see an exceptional group of ladies. It has been a long year with many unexpected turns it had been a long year when it started. But as we entered the last few days of high school, we can say that we persevered. We have served our sentence. I am so grateful to have experienced high school with each and every one of you by my side. To the form that always asked me what was wrong whenever I looked stressed. To the form that always say food at break, well, most of the time. To the form that will cry with you, laugh with you, grind with you and play with you. Thank you for making the past six years nothing short of memorable. To my prefects, I don't know what I would have done without you. 
Thank you for always being there for me whenever I was overwhelmed and for always providing guidance whenever I needed it. To my deputies, thank you so much for making my life a lot less hectic and for having my back in every way possible. To the senior management team, or SMT, thank you so much for all the guidance and support you have given me throughout this year and for all the time and effort you have put into ensuring our time here runs smoothly. Without you, I would have never managed to survive this year. To Ms. Shawadu, thank you so much for, quite literally, everything. From the engaging and thought-provoking chapel services to the jokes during lunch, thank you so much for always checking up on us and for being a beacon of light in what would otherwise have been a dark year. All I can say is, it has been a good act. To the teachers, thank you so much for instilling within me a love of learning, a love that has only grown with every engaging lesson that I have attended. The time and energy you put into ensuring the learning process is the best it can be is unmatched. In the words of someone whose name I do not know, without teachers, life would have no class. To my parents, thank you always for supporting me in every situation and for being my comfort in times of need. I'm so grateful for everything you have done to help me to get to this place in my journey. To the school, thank you for making every day enjoyable, from singing war cries together to eating lunch together. I'm so grateful to have been part of such a lively student body. But above all, to everyone, thank you for believing in me to be your head girl for 2020. I have seen you all shine, and I know you will only grow brighter. Arundel ladies, you are stars because even in the darkest moments, you still shine bright. The light can be taken away, and you will still glow. As we move on to different parts, I leave you with this. You glow different when you move different. Ladies, that is exactly what you have done. Thank you.
As the year draws to a close, we once again applaud our girls for these wonderful achievements in their different exploits. We commend the girls for flying the school flag high and continuing the legacy of grace and learning in all they set out to do. Well done to each Arundel girl for maintaining their presence and commendable conduct in their online lessons, sport and club meets and showing tenacity in the face of adversity. Congratulations to all our award winners and all the best to our school leavers. May you remain ladies of honour, excellence, perseverance and grace. All the best in your future endeavours.